Shabbat Shalom to all my friends in SW3 and beyond. This week's double sidra, Matot Masay, ends the book of Bamidbar. And next week, not only do we start the month of Av, the nine days, a sad time where we commemorate the destruction of the two temples and many other historical tragedies in the Jewish history on the 9th of Av, but also at the end of this week's Sidra, a very interesting term of events happens. The Torah, which is used for the word tribe up until now, Shevet, meaning tribe, it suddenly changes at the end of the last few sentences in Masi, where the tribes of Manasseh from Joseph come and speak to Moses about inheriting the land. And it starts with the word shifte, meaning tribe. And then, not once, not twice, but nearly 20 times, the term for tribe is changed to the word mate. Mate. Used a few times in the Torah, but this time, every single time to the end of the episode, about 17 times the word tribe is used with mate. Why is this? The late great Rabbi Moshe Shapira, who only passed away in this century. He was called the rabbi's rabbi. He had no shul, he had no yeshiva, he had no college. But he taught most of the Jewish leaders of today. And he says an amazing difference between the word shevet, tribe, and mate, tribe. He says mate comes from the word stick, but not necessarily a stick. Moses' stick was called his mate. A mate means a branch. He says every single branch in the entire world, for every tree the branch grows from, is never straight. It goes straight and then it turns upwards. That is what a mata is. You lay it on the ground and it turns upwards. The end of it always faces up to God. A mata, a tribe, someone who represents God, needs to be flat on this world and facing upwards towards God. Because when it comes to doing God's work, when it comes to them asking questions to Moses about God's work, they change from Shevet, a tribe, to Mata, a representative of God on this world. We are God's Matas. We, in this week's Sidra, understand that not only are we just a tribe, but we represent God on this world. Which is why at the very end of the Sidra, straight after the word Mata is used, it says these are the commandments that God gave Moses to the Jewish people on the other side of the Jordan because we're about to enter Israel. We are about to enter Israel again, being grounded here and facing up to God proudly. Good Shabbos.